Welcome back. Let's bring you all the latest in the Goa murder case in a shocking incident atop Techie from Bengaluru. CEO of an AI startup allegedly killed her four-year-old son in Goa. Suchana say it was arrested by the Goa police from Chitra Durga in Karnataka after the police found the dead body of her son stuffed inside her bag. The post-mortem report has also revealed that the death occurred due to strangulation. As the Goa police now has the custody of Suchna Seth for the next six days, the prime focus of the investigation will be ascertaining the motive of the crime. Suchna has in her preliminary statement to cops mentioned that she was disturbed due to marital dispute. Goa police have also found two bottles of cough syrup in the hotel room. One bottle was found to be empty. The cops suspect that the mother gave the cough syrup bottle to the child to make him feel drowsy before committing the murder. Um, it's also believed that it was after he consumed this cuff syrup bottle, she strangulated her son. Suchana's husband, Venkat Raman, has been summoned to appear before Kalangut police station. As of now, there is no confirmation whether or not he will appear today or over the weekend. And with that, let me also break down for you, as far as this entire Goa murder probe is concerned, what have been the kind of recoveries made by the Goa police from the scene of crime. Uh, the first and foremost point is the knife that was used by Suchana to allegedly cut her own wrist, something she attempted to do after uh, the murder of her son. There was also a pillow that was recovered from the scene of crime, which may have been used for smothering her own son by Suchna. At the same time, there was a towel which had blood stains on it. Perhaps Suchna tried to wipe the blood stains off her wrist with that towel. She also, there was a the vehicle used by Suchna said, which is also part of the evidence in this entire crime scene. A red trolley bag was also used by Suchana Seet in which the child, the, her own son's body was stuffed in this red trolley bag. Two empty cuff syrup bottles were also used which Suchana had ordered from the hotel. Remember it was only one that was consumed by her son to make him more drowsy before she committed the murder. And with that I have some breaking inputs coming in. We are learning that the Goa police is now going to recreate the crime scene. This is the breaking news information that we're bringing to you. The crime spot recreation is likely to take place either today or tomorrow. And this is what we are learning from the Goa police sources. Remain, uh, remember, Suchina said uh, remains in police custody. For more details, let's quickly go across to Yesha, who's joining me on the phone line. Yesha, important to establish how crucial is this recreation of the crime scene going to be for the cops now, considering they've still not been able to establish the motive behind this murder. Absolutely. In fact, uh, because uh, there's no motive behind the murder that has been established. As of now, Suchna said we speak of has not really divulged anything uh, in detail to uh, Goa police, which is where the crime scene recreation would help them piece together evidences. Now, let us understand, like you've already mentioned, that there was a pillow, there was a knife, there's also the napkin which has uh, the blood chains of Suchna, which have all been taken by cops. This is all been uh, given for forensic examination. Following which to understand the timeline. Now, from January 6 to January 8, uh, these were the days when Sushna and her son were staying in uh, that uh, very hotel to understand what really transpired and uh, when did uh, this incident take place. Because uh, Jan 6 was when they had checked in, according to police, it is expected that on Sunday was when uh, uh, the alleged murder of her son took place. So, you have to understand that when did the murder take place, how did it take place, mm -hmm. and the whole crime scene is really important to establish uh, the sequence in which is where the recreation would help. Yes. All right, many thanks to you, Yesha, for bringing in all those inputs. Remember, Yesha has been tracking this story for us. And in this shocking incident, the top techie from Bengaluru, she was also a CEO of an AI startup. She allegedly has killed her four-year-old son in Goa.